Hello, cheesecake lovers, all the people who've been trying to lose weight, trying to drop some fat, people who've been dieting forever, and we all know cheesecakes are on a list of things we can't have or we shouldn't have for several reasons. Anyway, so I created this recipe so I can have a piece of cheesecake when I want it without feeling guilty, all right? So um, there is no crust and I do not put any sugar. I do not add any sugar. Um, recipe is relatively simple, so follow me, watch it first, see if it works for you, and then you can give it a try, okay? Main ingredient, cheese. I'm gonna use cottage cheese, low fat, low salt cottage cheese. If you want to use cream cheese, use low fat cream cheese, that's an option too. I'm gonna use low fat cottage cheese because cottage cheese is loaded with protein and it's a good protein, that's the casein protein which is slow digesting protein. And, and I'll tell you later why I use that. Anyway, I'm gonna have to blend it, all right? So use a blender for that. Um, and before I blend it in, use some lemon. I found a piece of lemon. If you don't wanna use lemon, if you wanna blend it in, you can squeeze some lemon juice, about two, three spoons of lemon juice. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the bottom. And cottage cheese. I'm gonna blend it on, use some, low option, nothing too crazy, because if you're gonna go too fast, um, you're gonna liquefy it. So smoothies, probably not the best choice, okay? Where's my cover? Oh, banana, of course, I'm gonna add some banana. I forgot a banana. This is banana. Use some ripe banana. This is not the best choice. The browner, the better. If it's got a lot of brown patches, that's perfect, that's the only one I have, so I'm gonna use what I have. Excellent. Okay. Okay, remember, slow rotations, all right? keep it for too long. Um, I want to break the curds because if I keep it too long, then it's going to be thinner and that's what I don't want to do. Okay, now I'm going to put it aside and what I'm going to do, I'm going to use one egg. Okay. And now I'm going to use another blender just for an egg. A little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna dump all the cheese. See, it's not really thin. That's exactly what I wanted. takes me a lot of time simply because I don't want to waste anything, okay? All right, so that cheese and one egg, let's blend it in together. Slowly, gently. lemon, banana, and cheese. Now, move on. You can add a little bit of cinnamon. That's optional. I like cinnamon, so I'm going to put a little bit, okay, right on top. But again, it's optional. Now, I'm going to add some coconut extract. I'm going to use this brand. It's McCormick. It's not my favorite one, but um, it's not bad, so I'm going to use what I have, okay? one spoon or maybe not even one spoon the reason i don't really like this particular um extract is because it's very strong so i'm not going to use one spoon but if you have something different anywhere from three quarters would be probably good okay so that's my extract and let's move on to protein powder i'm going to use vanilla protein powder two gigantic spoons of powder protein powder vanilla all right 
Now, here's a question. What brand do you use? That may vary. I'm gonna use, you see how much I put, right? And that's good for me. If you like it sweeter, you can put a little bit more. But then again, depends on what brand you use and what brand you like. You can add three spoons, that should work too. And I'm gonna use farina. And again, two to three spoons. These are gonna be smaller spoons, not gigantic spoons. See how much I put? One and two. All right, let's start with two. I'm gonna stir it together and then depending on texture, how thin or how thick it's gonna be, I'm gonna decide whether or not I should add additional spoon of farina. All right, let me start slowly and gently because I have a lot of powder on top. I should probably use a bigger bowl. check with the spoon but I think this is fine see it is not it's not too thin if yours is thinner use more farina you can put one more spoon stir up and see how it looks okay I'm gonna let it sit now for about five minutes in the meantime turn on the oven let it heat about 350 degrees and we need baking pan you can use some butter, tiny bit, just a thin layer of butter on the bottom, or use some non-stick cooking spray. All right, that's a pan I'll be using. It's not big. You can use anything you have, anything you want. I'm gonna use a smaller one, simply because cheesecake, this particular cheesecake, is not gonna be tall, all right? So the bigger pan you use, simply, it's gonna be shorter. So, but feel free to use whatever you have. You don't have to go and shop for something you don't have just because I use this one. Okay, and I'm just gonna pour it right on top. I'm right-handed, it's not really convenient. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna show you in a sec. And again, I don't wanna waste a single drop, so I'm gonna put everything in here. All right, that's enough. See, it's not... Can you see that? Oh. All right, I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 25. I'm gonna check after 20 minutes. It is time to take it out. I just checked it, it looks really good. I kept it for 45 minutes total. And guys, I have to tell you, it smells amazing. My whole apartment smells really, really good, okay? So it's, it looks like this. As you can see on the edges, it is goldenish. Golden's got some color. So that's pretty much just a good indicator um, that it's ready. Okay, now, what we need to do, what I need to do, um, I have to let it sit right here for about an hour or two hours, let it cool down and then I'm gonna put it in a fridge. Don't cut it immediately because it's, it's thin. So put it in a fridge for several hours or possibly overnight and then start cutting it. All right, very important, ladies and gentlemen, don't eat everything at once, okay? Portions, control your portions. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it probably six to eight pieces. Makes a good six to eight serving sizes and again not everything at once and at least do not eat more than one quarter of it that's going to be too much all right and what else i wanted to say i wanted to say it is a perfect not meal but like a snack before you go to bed not immediately before you go to bed but evening time when you get hungry you start binging have something like that or a piece of or some cottage cheese Okay, try it out, let me know what you think. Check my website, fitabee.com. I'll post some, I'll post the recipe and maybe additional changes if I have any. Also, if you wanna add some nuts, raisins, by all means, you know, experiment or pieces of fruit. If you have like a favorite fruit, try it, be open, experiment a little bit. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you like it and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.